All right, so let's go. Here we go. We're going to do this one. Let's just see what it does. Visual Studio suck. You guys see this? Clicking on do it. Go to definition. S64, because Visual Studio is a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, man. I've never met a like a clang dlsp a ccls a what's the other one i i've literally never used any form of a c++ anything that has worked ever well ever it always the hopping around is just like it just sucks clang d's nuts right every single time it did it it deleted the word lambda do you see why i hate this editor is there a setting that I can change this back? Someone please tell me there is. Oh, because I can't edit it. I can't click this to select it either. To copy the value. Because it's not in scope. <laughs> I hate that so much. Oh, man. This is one reason why I do love always working in a terminal. Like, I really do love always working in a terminal because I can hop out of my current program, right? And like, look at this. I'm now just in my terminal and I can copy from where I said, let's go to Vim into Vim and then highlight that and then go paste that in, right? Like, I don't want to live in this world where I'm stuck on these stupid UI features that just drive me nuts. Right now, so you can't copy the value of the number, even though it's drawing it right there. Why did it just... I was editing that macro and it just flipped. This is such a clusterfuck of terrible decisions and it just gets worse every six months. I am literally looking at it in the face. I just don't understand how you could say IDEs are bad, Mr. Jonathan. They're so, they make you so productive. Why would you want to take the productivity hit of not having these things happen anymore? Is there a setting to like fire the people who made the UI for Google Studio? F I R E D fired. <laughs> Jonathan Blow must be one of like six people that hate IDEs more than I do. Like, this guy must be the person that hates it the most out of everybody. You know, I can recognize some things that make it nice. But, man, this guy, he just don't like it. He not a fan. Hey. <laughs> Try to do work here, you piece of shit. <laughs> Let me type. How? It did it again. It deleted Adam's match. Just, you didn't want that. You didn't want that. We're just going to delete it. You didn't want that. No! Ah! What am I doing? Mm. Restart! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, it's optimized way not available. It didn't freaking do it. God, I hate this program. I went up here, I clicked to type after the bracket. Of course, it puts a button after that does random shit. Dude, I gotta write an operating system. <laughs> Is that the answer? <laughs> Why am I paying thousands of dollars for this program? <laughs> I mean, I feel his pain. I do feel his pain. I feel very much like that. You know, I know you guys love, I know you guys love VS Code in this chat, okay? I know you're a bunch of VS Code lovers. It's just, it's just soy boy after soy boy filling the world all the way up to the top with soy goodness. Um, but man, 
it just it just emotionally hurts me. I literally okay. So earlier today, you know, because I try to respond to like a couple comments on YouTube. I try to read them, respond to some of them, and someone's just like, "Yeah, Prime only hates VS Code because when he used it, he never set up a single shortcut. Of course he hates it." I'm like, "What? Why would the guy who only uses a keyboard centric editing process use VS Code?" And not set up a single shortcut. Like, where where are you getting your, your thought process from? This, is, this doesn't make any sense. Of course I set it up. I don't like it. It's okay for me not to like things. Okay? This was a great video, by the way. I love this video. I love this video. I love this video. This is great. Uh, we use it. But love, question mark? Oh, you know you do. There's a lot of VS Code fanboys out there, okay? It's the best. It's the best thing that has ever existed. I know he was using Visual Studios, which is different than VS Code. But in my era, in my line of work, which is Rust and web stuff, everyone uses VS Code, Emacs, Vim, or Kalyan. Okay? That's what we do. But I love IntelliJ. You can love IntelliJ. IntelliJ idea is at least pretty dang good. IntelliJ feels like it's one of the few IDEs that's actually just an IDE. You know, if I'm going to have something use 10 of my gigabytes of RAM, I'm just going to use IntelliJ. Right? I have 64 threads on my work computer. Uh, indexing takes no time. Just make it happen. Right? Who cares? If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do that. There's no middle ground for me. Either I'm going full IDE or I'm going to use Vim. Okay? Okay. There's no in-between for me. There's just no in-between. In, in Thread ripped out of my mind. That's right. Damn straight. Okay? There's there's none. None. I don't want to have like a half-assed IDE written in, in JavaScript using 10 gigabytes, not being nearly as useful as IntelliJ, but not nearly as fast as Vim. So that way I can just have someone else install an LSP for me. Okay? I don't want that. I don't want that. The name is the Primogen. And fleet can fleet my nuts, okay? That's what I think. So hit the subscribe button and the like button already, okay? YouTube out! <laughs> Got him!